So guys, I'm here at the site of a burglary gone wrong in August 1999. Uh, two guys tried breaking into this property and they both got injured and one of them got killed at the scene. Now, the man in question is Tony Martin and uh, I just want to do this short documentary video about him. Um, he had his licence revoked in 1994 for a shotgun licence and uh, he had a um, didn't have a firearm licence because the law changed so uh, that's why he got um, arrested for murder uh, with intent and then it was changed to attempted murder and firearms um, firearm with intent to firearm with intent as well um, and he got put in prison for life but it was reduced to manslaughter and he said I think he said three years in the end anyway that's that's the house over there and uh, I just thought I'd do a short video I know I don't think I'll go inside I don't know why there's a, a, a van there as well so but there is a way in I might have a little look I don't know yet um, but you can see that there's the combine harvest that got smashed screen lit there's some other bits and bobs there but I think there's somebody moving bits and bobs in and out on this track that's another reason why I ain't going to do it as well um, yeah because I think there's quite a bit of recent activity with tracks before I looked at it track to tracks and stuff um, so yeah it's just there um, bleak house and there's windows smashed and things like that as well um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the story. Of what happened with uh, with Tony Martin? Um, I felt sorry for the guy. Actually, you know, he'd, he said he'd been burgled ten times previously, and uh, he was defending his property. But um, technically, he wasn't because um, his firearm was illegal in the end. Um, but he got found out here yeah, Asperger's and paranoid is that a paranoia personal this personality disorder um, so it was squashed with diminished responsibility um, but like I say I feel sorry for the guy I think he was just doing the thing doing the right thing he was defending his property but you know um, one of them died in the process so uh, yeah um, uh, one of them Fred Barris I think it was um, he had only just come out on bail when they decided to try and burgle Tony Martin's house. That's basically the story of what happened. Um, I'll walk up a little bit further. See how bad it is first. the outbuildings. God, it's been there a long time, isn't it? I'm trying not to make this an urbex, I'm trying to make this more of a documentary style video. Um, oh wow, ow! Wow, 
before you saw that in the video. That was cool. Car still there. See if we can go inside the house. It's a JCB. Like that, we're exploring it as well. Like, not but uh, there, but it's more of a documentary about Tony Martin. So, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ooh, room over there. And, uh, yeah. It's like more of a documentary than of uh, an able explorer. Uh, that's the story. A bit of a sad story to be honest. Um, I, don't know, I feel sorry for the guy. Um, I don't think he deserved to be put in prison because he was just basically just defending his property. So he was well within his rights, but um, because the law changed from shotguns and firearms in the UK, um, he did uh, bug himself up a little bit because of the change in the law, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, here's a bit of an unfortunate story. I haven't taken any photos yet either. 
I might want to do that. So, um, yeah. Bit of a... Oh, some kestrels up there. Cool. Bit of a fortunate story. Let's get a couple of photos out of the way. What was that owl again? Oh, wow. You don't quite see owls in daytime. That's weird. How cool is that? That is really cool. Really cool. That is really cool. That's twice I've seen that owl now. Might be able to hang back and try to get some footage. So I'm going to take a few shots now. As I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'm going to grab a few photos. And then the documentary is finished. So as I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this story about Tony Martin and Bleak House. So nearly 30 years ago, yeah, it's not 30 years yet, is it? 99. No, it's not 30 years yet. But, um, been over 20 years. I'll come back in here to take some photos. see that owl again as well. Right, like I say, that's the end of the documentary. Slash Urbex video. Hope you enjoyed the Explore documentary. More an exploring documentary than anything else. And uh, hope to see you on the next one. Ah, oh, here comes that owl again. There are two owls. I'm hoping they both come back. That's pretty cool. And where's right under in here is where they were. It's where the owl flew out from. In here. I don't see a nest. Hmm. I do like owls, they're cool. Let's hang back a bit, see if the owl flies over here. You never know. Someone get it on video flying over. I know what happened, I'll stop the camera and it'll fly past. Well, I reckon I'm about done. So yeah, let's say, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the documentary video. And uh, yeah, don't forget to check out the other videos in the playlist, the Exploring playlist, and the other playlists. And uh, catch you further down.